Welcome to Really Random Rants, the show we do just that. I'm McFly. I'm Kid Fisto. I'm Victoria. And today we're talking hey, about we Martian. Are, and we are the oh, random yeah, we're people. the random people. And today we're talking about Martian Manhunter. If you're wondering why we're doing him out of any character, because he deserves your respect. And because of link in description and up on top in recommended uh, uh, videos. Um, <laughs> Our universes determined he was the winner. So, you should watch that. Uh, maybe even before this, keep open and link a new tab or something. No, we should watch. They, they should watch this before they watch the other one. So. Alright, so, uh, we're getting some of this from DCComics.com, so the official DC website. Yeah, and, and some of it we're, going, we're getting from the DC Wiki. Oh, so all of it's actual DC facts. It's, yeah. it's like legitimate stuff. Wow, that sounds really uh, unprofessional. So, it's all legitimate <laughs> stuff. All right, okay. so, um, Victoria, you can read the first paragraph. All right. Where there? Yep. That's the first one, isn't it? Okay. What are, the, what are our best traits as humans? <laughs> our empathy? Hmm? Or our intelligence, uh. our respect for life, and constantly striving to do right. It's ironic, then, um, that within the DC universe, very few people embody those very human traits. Wait. <laughs> that's Quite true. as well as John Jones. Quite as well as John Jones, the Martian Manhunter. That's true. He has, like, all of those. He is a good guy. He is the good guy. Like, if... I, People call Superman the Big Blue Boy Scout. Oh, yeah. Try to face John Jones. Though, if he were ever to turn evil, ooh, he'd be damned. Oh, holy crap. Okay, anyway. Um, it's my turn? Yep. A former police officer and family man on his home planet of Mars. So, see, he's a police officer, which already gave him a pretty yeah. And a pretty good sense of moral integrity. A former police officer and family man on his home planet of Mars, John's life was shaped by a great tragedy. After witnessing horrific fires that engulfed and destroyed people and planet, leaving him the lone survivor of his race. Hey, <laughs> the lone survivor. Um, uh... Grieving for his family and world, John made Earth his new residence, quickly becoming one of the universe's most power, the universe's most powerful protector, and key asset to the Justice League of America. Possessing a unique set of powers and abilities, Martian Manhunter's rivals even uh, rivals even Superman when it Get comes to his man. capabilities. Incredible strength. Flight, shape shifting, invisibility, telepathy, telekinesis, extensive wisdom, powerful optic blast, etc., etc., etc. I didn't know about the extensive wisdom. And that makes a lot of sense, seeing as he's one of the most chill guys in the entire universe. What's that? Um, Martian Manhunter is a force to be reckoned with. Yet, for all of his powers and wisdom, the near mortal is still troubled by that which destroyed his world fire. Though it continues to haunt him, he has learned to channel his fear and transform it into res resilience, one of mankind's greatest traits. Shaped by tragedy and driven by desire to prevent his planet's fate from happening to Earth, Martian Manager continues pr to prove that there's much we can learn from his the uniquely human hero. So, basically, the one guy who's not human in the DC Universe is more human than the humans themselves. Uh -huh. And technically, he's not the most. He's not the only non-human. There's Superman. A lot of people don't re recognize the fact that he's an alien. He's a straight-up alien. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, Superman. He's a, he's, he's, he's Superman. They just think of Superman as Superman. <laughs> they don't think of Superman. If you're alien. wondering why I'm doing this while I'm out, I'm putting. Sorry, I keep I'm going to be guy. back and forth. Chat I keep left. getting notifications on this. All thing. right. So anyway. Uh, those, that's a summary of who he is. Okay. Now we'll go to DC Wiki. Where we're going to find a list of, yes. is there a list of his powers on here? Yes, I remember, this is a DC Wiki. This is not Encyclopedia. The, um, what's it called? Wikipedia? Wikipedia. Yeah, Wikipedia. 
the wow. most unreliable. So that's not one of the most. Actually, a lot of it's true, but it's a lot of it's false too. No, people check it rec- a lot, like, and they make sure that the facts are actually factual. Anyway, oh, there's a Hoffman symbol off to the side, and an Aquaman. Oh my gosh, this place is not biased. Okay, so here is basically. A list of Martian Man, Hunter's Powers, and we'll go back and forth. Martian Physiology, which means he's a Martian. Extrasensory Input. Meaning he has the ability to... He has, like, ESP. Martian Vision, which gives him infrared vision. X-ray vision. Electromagnetic Spectrum Vision. I always... Telescopic. Telescopic vision. Microscopic vision. And thermal blast. He has the abilities of telepathy. Mind control. Telekinesis. Flight. Malleable form. Basically, Mr. Fantastic. Intangibility. Right there. Invisibility. Elasticity. Size alteration. Invulnerability. Regeneration. Regener- Sorry, I had to do something. Yeah. Self-sustenance, self-sustenance, meaning he can go for a really long time without any food or drink, and especially without fire. Superhuman speed, so super- not not super speed like Flash, but faster than the average Joe. Basic- superhuman endurance, which means he can endure more than the average human. <laughs> superhuman strength, which means he can lift more than the average Joe. <laughs> And uh, abilities, there's only two special other than powers. These are like normal abilities. That yeah. He is extremely good at hand to hand combat. So even if he was like um, uh, under a low level fire and like he had no powers and he was, but he was still able to fight, he would still be able to beat the crap out of any mob gang. And he's really good at hunting, so tracking stuff down. Like yeah. he's a good tracker. Which comes with the ESP ability. Yeah, and we obviously said the vulnerability to fire is his only weakness. Which is, as much as it's a pathetic weakness, it's incredible that that's his only weakness. But seriously think about it. How many times is that going to be a big bumper for the Justice League? Batman villains come at them, they make a wreck, and boom, fire everywhere. And that means but, he's, he's vulnerable to explosions, too. But he, they did say he's conquering it, though, because it's one of those out of fear. Oh, you get so, more it's determined, n- so it's so. not so it's not a legit um, uh, it's not a legitimate like Weakness. It's just that he's afraid of it. Yeah, it's more of he's and, and, afraid of it. And, he, and he, he's just like, oh, I can't handle it. Yeah. I can't, this he's killed like, my people. Yeah, he's like, <sighs> but sometimes it's more of wait. Uh, then you might. At first, he would be like, oh, I can't because get to me. But because it's natural, it's a fear. But then he would be like, wait a minute, I can't let this destroy my new home. I'm- so so it's not like. It's not like Superman um, uh, and Kryptonite. It's not like Superman to Kryptonite because Superman to Kryptonite, he's just like, oh, I can't do anything. For him, it's that, oh, I'm so scared. I am incapable of doing anything. But then, given him enough time and enough time to think about it, he can do so much. He could probably th- fly through a fire. Thus meaning that he probably can deal with explosions. So, um, let's see. Uh, let's give some fact, uh, some notes about him. Okay. Uh, Marshall Manager or John Jones? That was his, not John Jones. All right. Let's just clear this up. It's there. it's either John or Jean. Yeah, John Jones is his Martian name. That's what he was when he lived on the planet oh, it's, Mars. It's either John Jones or John Jones. Yes. And when um, he's depends human on what you're form, at. disguised as the detective, he, he is. John, J- I mean John. John Jones. So no, on on Mars he was not John Jones. He was John Jones. Mm-hmm. John Jones. Yes. Which is how they did. Very yeah. convenient. Mm-hmm. All right. Think about it. You're coming to Earth. What yeah. should I name? My- oh, that's a name. John, John Jones. Jones. <gasps> so um, he was created by Joseph. Joseph. Some- <laughs> Samachin. Samachin. Yes. And Joe Serta. And he was first appearing in Detective Comics um, number 220, issue 225 uh, in the Prime Earth continuity, Martian Manhunter. Uh, first appeared as part of the New 52 
uh, D DC Universe in Stormwatch Volume 3, Issue 1 by Paul Cornell and Michael Sapel. Wait, wait. Where? Oh, Miguel Sibovol Sepulva. Miguel last name. Okay, so uh so let's uh, you're going to give a quick no, 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 no. origin of him. No, a quick No, we told him. We told him already. What, that he's the last Martian and then his planet, his planet was... died and he came to Earth and he was just like, yada, 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 I'm a superhero now. If you want to you find see what out... what he just did? He just tricked you into doing a quick origin. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so if you want to find out more about him, go to uh, the DC Wiki because we gave pretty much everything about him on DCComics.com. So. Okay, so uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Like, comment. Share. Subscribe. Follow us on Google Plus. Follow us on Twitter. Like our Facebook page. Um, join the really random fandom on Google Plus. And do hashtag Deb Did It First. Make it trending on social media. Um also just uh, uh, live long and prosper. Uh, hashtag live long uh, <laughs> and prosper. Hashtag live long and prosper. <laughs> have a really May the force be with you. Force be with you and have and a have really, really, really random, random day. day. I'm so out of the cycle.